Paul here in Guatemala. Thank you for joining me. And I just wanted to show you a few of my favorite poses for low back pain. This is one of my trouble areas. I have lots of um, tension in my quadratus lumborum muscle. So the QL muscle is a muscle that runs from the bottom of the rib cage to the top of the sacrum, the hips, top of the hips. And it can give some grief. And if you're watching this video, then you probably know what I mean. So these are some of the stretches that work really well in my body. And hopefully some of them will resonate in yours. Maybe they won't. We all have different bodies. But um, yeah, take what you can from this and hopefully find some relief. So let's just start seated. I'm sitting up on something because it gives me some space in my low back. So you can see the difference. If I'm sitting down. I don't have as much of um, the lumbar curve. So the lumbar curve is a natural curve in the low back. And it's just because my hips are a little tight, so my knees come up and I round here. And we spend a lot of time rounded when we're seated, when we're seated, when we're seated um, at a desk, uh, I'm in airplanes all the time, traveling. Nothing has, most things don't have a lumbar support, so we're not really seated the way that our spine actually curves. We're more like this. So this does a lot of a lot of compression. So what can help is whenever you sit up on something a little bit higher. So here you might be able to see, I don't know if you can see with the shirt I have on, that I have some more of the lumbar curve. So encouraging your spine to be in its natural position um, gives more space. So anyway. That's why I'm sitting on this. So lots of lateral stretching really feels good. So I'll show you a couple different seated lateral stretches that I like. We'll do, we'll do several of them actually. Let's bring the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. A couple more times, bring the arms up, maybe wave them, maybe just reach them. And exhale, hands to heart center. Once more, inhale, and this time we're gonna pull a rope. Like imagine there was a rope coming down, and we're gonna grab as high as we can with one hand, and then we're gonna grab as high as we can with the other one as we pull ourselves up on the rope. So just getting some space between the ribs and the hips on each side, and you can do this really slow. So you're getting some space here and bring the hands down. Right hand comes down, left arm comes up and over. So maybe you walk the fingertips out here, maybe you bring the right forearm down, bring the shoulders away from the ears, lengthen the neck, and then spiral the whole torso open. Maybe you take the left hand to the heart and help encourage your heart open. Lift the arm up. Hmm, big deep breaths. So maybe you can even feel here at the top of the hip on the left side. I can feel just a little bit here starting. And we're gonna take the left hand behind the head and press back, press the head back into the hand and then reach through the elbow. So this might deepen here a little bit. What we're gonna begin to do is round the back and this is going to probably start giving some quite nice sensation. So instead of just bringing the elbow down to the knee, I'm gonna curl in. I'm really gonna push my spine back, yeah? So exhale, I'm gonna curl in round, 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 and then bring the elbow towards the knee. So I can really feel this in the upper back as well. Inhale, open, everything is connected. So when I open, I can feel it kind of down in the hip. Gaze is up. Exhale, slowly curl. Bring the elbow towards the knee, maybe stay for a round of breath here. Send some breath to the tension, wherever it is. And then inhale, open. I can feel that all the way up into my neck. It feels so nice. Once more, exhale. And inhale, open, and we lift up. Same thing on the other side. So walk the hands out, staying either on the hand or maybe on the forearm. Roll the shoulders back. Lengthen the neck, right arm comes up and over. Maybe take the hand to the heart, rotate the heart open, 
I can see my left shoulder coming forward, so I'm going to roll it back. Yeah. Reach. Open the heart. Lean back slightly into the shoulders. Trust yourself here. And then take the hand behind the head. Press the head back into the hand to get some more opening. And then reach to the elbow so you tilt over towards the left side a little bit more. Still moving the shoulders away from the ears. And then we're going to curl. So we're going to push the spine back towards the back of the mat as the right elbow rounds down towards the knee. Full round of breath. Exhale. Inhale, open up. And exhale, fold. Full round of breath in and out. Inhale, open up once more and exhale. Round in and out. Inhale, open up. So this is kind of a whole lateral line of the back. So I can feel this in my neck, upper back, a little bit in the low back as well. So let's move the bolster. We're going to come to sitting on the knees. Inhale the arms, lift up, take Pali Mudra or Charlie's Angels. Lifting up, push down through the hips, press down through the tops of the feet in order to get some lift. On an inhale, we're going to slightly lift the hips up and move them over towards the left. Begin to reach over towards the right side. Spiral the heart open, the same sensation of twisting towards the left and reaching towards the right. So you start, should start to feel it a little bit lower now. One more inhale. And exhale, place the right hand down. Push the ground away with the right side so you get even more of an arch on the left side of the body. So you can be here or I can push left side of the body farther towards the left as I reach more towards the right. More of a rainbow move here, or more of a, an arc. Lean back just slightly, and exhale. Plant the hand, bring the hips back onto the heels, and just lean forward into child's pose. One inhale, full exhale. Plant the hands, push the ground away to roll the low back up. And we'll switch sides. So inhale, the arms lift, Kali Mudra. Inhale, we're going to slightly lift the hips up and slide them over towards the right. Begin to bring the right side. We're going to make that arc. So the right pushes to the right, left reaches to the left, left fingers reach to the left. All fingers reach to the left. Spiral the heart open. Pull the belly towards the spine here. And then we'll plant the left hand down. Push the ground away with the left hand so you get even more of an arc. Oh, starting to feel really good here. Lean back slightly into the shoulders, open the heart. You can even take the hand behind the head and do the whole press the head back into the hand, reach through the elbow jazz if you'd like. And a couple more rounds of breath. And slowly release. Bring the hips back onto the heels, child's pose. One round of breath, inhale. Sigh out, exhale. We'll plant the hands, roll up, and we're gonna cross the ankles and sink the hips back. Right leg is gonna come out. Whew. I don't know if you could hear that from the mic, but I just got a wicked hip crack, hip hop. So, options. Y'all may have seen this one before. I like this one. You can take a bolster or a block to the outside or maybe inside of the leg. So we're going to do a side stretch here. The elbow, right elbow, is going to come down to your leg, to the block or to the bolster. Place the head into the hand. I can already feel a stretch right here my lats, my QLs. So I'm going to lean back just slightly. I can stay right, you can stay right here. You can take the left hand behind the back. 
you can lift the left arm up and over. If you're going to lift it up and over, this really engages this back line. But let it hang over the head like your arm is a wet noodle. It's one of my favorite cues. Now lean back into the shoulders. I'm just going to stay right here. If this is not enough for, if you want to go deeper, then maybe the elbow comes to the inside. Maybe you can grab for the foot and you reach up and over. This is really deep. If you do get a hold of the foot with the left hand, then press the foot into the hand as the hand pulls back. You'll get some more resistance there. Keep gazing up. really intense. <laughs> Choose where you want to go today. Wherever you are, a couple more rounds of breath. It's really important that we're not rounding forward because this loses the stretch. So even if you're really high, even if you're up here, it's more about the feeling that you're getting in your body. It does not matter what it looks like. You're, you know if, you're, if this is a productive stretch or not. Wherever you are, we're going to come out slowly. Just begin to push away, lifting up. Close your eyes for a moment and feel the difference on each side of the spine. We'll switch sides. Left leg goes long. Right heel comes in towards the groin. We'll switch sides and expect it to be different on this side. It will be a little bit different. We're notoriously uneven. So just expect it. Maybe it'll be more open. Maybe it'll be a little more adhesed. But we'll prepare for whatever we find. Left elbow comes down towards the thigh. Block or the bolster. So I can think I'm going to be tighter over here, I have a feeling. You can stay right here for a moment. Maybe open, opening and just kind of gauging, assessing the situation. Maybe the hand comes behind the back. This encourages the heart to open. Maybe the arm reaches up and over. Let it drape over the head like a wet noodle. And maybe you slowly feel this release happening and you wanna go a little bit deeper Oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I'm not going to make it on this side, but you can still reach towards the foot. If I grab my foot, then I have to curl in. And then I'm losing the integrity of the pose and the purpose of the pose. So this is better. This would be my fullest expression today. Heart is open. I'm leaning back into the shoulders. Fully inhale and exhaling. I'm getting a big opening the right side body. And a couple more rounds of breath. You can definitely stay here longer and slowly come up. And I encourage you to, I encourage you to, I mean, maybe not all of these will work in your body, but a couple of them will. Just take those, just take those couple out. Leave the rest. I'm going to wiggle the hips a little bit, windshield wiper. And let's extend the legs long. So this is another version of Janu Shirshasana, which what we just did was a version of it. Let's take the left leg long, the right leg into um, the groin. Lift the arms up. Right hand, as we fold forward, is going to come to the left side of the foot. Left hand comes to out to the left side. We're going to twist towards the left and then fold forward. Maybe, and I recommend it, head comes down to a block. This right hand actively pushes into the outside of the foot to get some, um, to get some more energy sending to the left. You should be feeling this in left low back. Mm, 
that three more rounds of breath. I could even take the elbow here. I'm going to take the elbow to the outside of the leg and kind of twist it over too. Different options. And maybe you're here. But we're just using the floor and using the leg to twist ourselves to the left and then folding forward. And let's come up and switch sides. Inhale, the arms lift up, flex the right toes back. Exhale, the left hand comes to the outside of the left foot or the leg, the right foot or the leg and we twist so we can kind of turn ourselves to the right and begin to come down. Ooh, that's nice. Maybe even inhale, halfway lift, extend the spine forward, the heart forward, and exhale, fold down a little bit more. Maybe the head comes to a block or a bolster. Ooh, this is good on this side. So use this leverage here. Use this, uh, these opposing forces, the left hand moving into the right leg to spin farther towards the right. And slowly begin to come up. And we're going to lay onto our belly. Now, you, I do want you to grab a pillow if you don't already have one. I would um, grab, yeah, you'll need to grab a pillow or um, a bolster or a rolled up blanket or a couple towels. So anterior tilt, the pelvic bowl is, um, well, it's a bowl. You can pour water out the front of it. This is an anterior tilt. You can pour water out the back. This is a posterior tilt. I have an anterior tilt, so I tend to sometimes overly extend this lumbar spine. So this, if you have that issue, you have an anterior tilt where this kind of, this seems to happen, an over-exaggeration of the lumbar spine, then this pose is really going to help give some release and some release to the low back. So we're gonna place the bolster or whatever you have right underneath the hips and we're gonna lay down on it. So this is going to reverse the tilt and you'll know almost right away if you lay down on here if this is something that's beneficial to you because I automatically get some ease right here so it's allowing my hips to tilt the other way and this is just delicious doesn't look that exciting <laughs> probably but it's pretty exciting in my body so this is just providing a lot of traction and release. So I like to stay here. When my back is hurting, I'll stay here for five minutes easy. Just letting myself breathe deep. And especially emphasizing the exhale, which is that soothe and settle button. The exhale is... Um, Allows, allows for that. And then we turn your head to the other side. And plant the hands by the shoulders and take another round of breath and slowly push the ground away bring the knees together maybe even bring the bolster under the belly as well so when I place it right here under the belly it even creates more rounding in my back than if I was here yeah as a child's pose with a little bit of support here creates more rounding so always if you have low back problems, I would suggest doing child's pose with the knees together rather than wide. So here the forehead could come down. Or you can gaze to either side. Again, this is allowing the back some release. 
so it's, it's really interesting. Like at the beginning of the class, I was saying that I sit up on a bolster in order to, to not be like this. Well, this, I'm you to not round the spine. Right here, the rounding is restorative. When I'm sitting, it's not, it's actually compressing. So just in case anyone was wondering if I'm contradicting myself here, um, this is allowing me to relax into kind of this rounding. Where if I'm perpetually sitting like this, then it's not very beneficial. So that's the, that's the difference. This is a couple rounds of breath here. I would normally stay in all these poses a little bit longer. I'm just trying to give you a, give you a selection platter to choose from. Sample platter is what I'm looking for, sample platter. And then we slowly So there is a sample platter of some of my go-to postures, asanas, for whenever I'm having some low back pain. So hopefully some of these resonated in your body. Um, it's very possible that not all of them did. So just be aware of that. And yeah, take what you can and leave the rest. Let me know what helped. Um, let me know if you have any favorite low back stretches maybe I don't know about or maybe that I've forgotten about. And yeah, thank you for being, letting me be part of your practice. And if you're looking for longer classes, um, head over to Om Yoga Tribe. I have one hour classes there. I have all of these classes on there as well with no ads um, available for offline viewing. And yes, monthly hour long classes. So until next time, have a beautiful day.